In the foregoing session, we created the project tree for the water plant project. Now we want to fill the function block diagrams with function blocks. We start with sim fu10 of the simulation task. This program shall simulate the process behavior of the inlet pump NP10, as you will see soon. Open the function block diagram sim fu10. As expected, a blank diagram is shown. To insert a new block, select User Function Block. The block we are using for simulating the water plant process is a user-defined function block, which has been already generated before. We select the only available block and place it in the center of the editor window. Open the Block Parameters window by double-clicking on it. Enter a name and a comment text. Red fields are mandatory. Notice that you can define the behavior of the drive from the parameter window. For example, you can simulate a fault or enable or disable local operation. In the next steps, we create some variables and connect them to the block's terminals. Here it is helpful to switch on the raster, which can be done with the help of the options menu. The first variable we need shall control the CM1 input terminal of the function block. This input reads the status of the pump. For example, if the pump is running, a flow through the pipe and a certain pressure will be simulated. The output POU supplies the pressure and the FOU the flow. To create this variable, right-click left to the CM1 input and select Variables Read. The new variable is indicated by a stub. Position it and stop insertion by right-click. We need two more variables, one for the Y in and one for CF input. You can copy variables and connections via the clipboard. Select both the variable and the connection, perform Edit, Copy and afterwards Edit, Paste. You can drag the new copy to the desired position. Notice that the connection was adapted to the data type. Here a real variable is shown as a thick line. We need seven output variables. Right click to the right of the function block and insert all variables. Afterwards draw the connections. As the next step, the variables must be defined. Double-click the first read variable and name it at np10 underscore out. The name of this global variable is np10 underscore out. The add sign indicates that not the global variable as such, but the process image of it will be used instead. Process image is a copy of those global variables that will be used inside a task. The task is copying those during startup. We will handle this topic in a separate session, but it is strongly recommended to use the process image of variables. We define the other variables in the same way.
In addition, you may select elements with a selection frame and move them where you like. Now that the configuration is completed, perform a plausibility check. If no errors are listed, leave the editor and save the diagram. Control Builder F offers great testing features. We will show some of them directly now. Therefore, we need to download the program to the controller. Perform a plausibility check and switch to commissioning mode. Select the PS1 node and click the Load Changed Objects button. This can be used for incremental download if you have loaded the whole station before. Afterwards, open the ZIM FU10 diagram. This diagram is now in online mode. If you move the cursor across the connections or variables, their values will be displayed as tooltip. As we have currently no other programs created, the input variables of the block will not be written by another program or function block. So we can force these values now. This can be done with the value window, which you can open by Windows Show Value Window. The window is currently empty. You can add variables by a double click. In the value window, double click a variable and enter a value into the dialog. In this case, enter 1 to set NP10 out to true. The function block now assumes that the pump is running. As a consequence, it increases the pressure output POU. The flow is still zero as the valve is not opened yet. The valve's position is indicated by the variable Y out, which is currently zero. Let's set its value to five. Now also the flow is rising. Let's have a look at the CF input. The variable shall reflect whether the tank is full or not. If the tank is full, the pump is running and the valve is open. The flow through the inlet pipe will be dropped to zero. You see the reaction directly if you change the value of the variable. The fault and feedback output can be controlled via the parameter window of the function block. Double click the block and set disturbance to on. The FLT output is set to true and the feedback outputs toggle their values. In this session we learned how to insert function blocks into function block diagrams, how to create variables and how to draw connections, how to copy objects and how to adjust the position of objects in the diagram. Furthermore, we learned how to commission a program and how to test its behavior by forcing values.